Hey everybody. Um, so I, well, actually, I wasn't expecting to do a book review today, as because I wasn't expecting to finish this book today, but I did. And as you can see, I have two other books with me, um, very old books, and they're actually in really horrible shape. But I wanted to bring them out because they're the reason why I read this. So I just finished Paradise Lost and Paradise Regained by John Milton. Um, it is an epic poem, uh, well, two epic poems, I should say, uh, Paradise Lost about uh, Adam and Eve eating of the fruit and basically being kicked out of paradise, kicked out of Eden. And then Paradise Regained is about uh, Jesus struggling with temptations from the devil in the desert. So the reason, so this is not something that I would normally read just kind of randomly, not really my style. I'm not into epic poetry. Um, I'm not particularly religious, um, though I'm interested in religion in general. Uh, but I wanted to read these books because I actually have these two copy these copies of the same ones i have paradise lost and paradise regained here that i got that was handed down to me my dad gave it to me it was something his his parents had and they're just so this was originally written in 1660 mid 1660s um, so mid 15th century, these two copies of it were printed in 1750, 1754 or 1757, something like that. I looked it up cause I, um, wanted to know and what, and so I obviously, yeah, I couldn't read these versions because of how, you know, just in, there's just such in bad shape. This one is actually split in half. Um, I'll show you here. This one is actually split in half, as you can see. So I obviously couldn't read these copies of it. And it's something that I've had for quite some time. So I decided to just buy an El Cheapo copy of it and read that. And actually what was good about that is it had some, um, some footnotes and things uh, to help while I was reading it that these probably don't have in them. So that was helpful because I will say, like I said, I am not, I am, I do a lot of reading, but this is not the type of reading that I normally do. So the notes were very helpful <laughs> in that, in understanding it. And I think I probably missed a lot of the nuance of it because it's, quite difficult to understand. The language is very different. I mean, obviously it's the 1660s and it's poetry. So, um, but I got the gist of it and I enjoy, I actually, surprisingly, I enjoyed it and it wasn't as, uh, it didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to. And so it starts, Paradise Lost starts with, um, with the devil getting kicked out of heaven and falling into hell. And then he kind of, you know, is trying to figure out how he's going to get back at, at, at heaven. Um, and he finds out, finds out that this new place, uh, this paradise has been, has been made and he decides to go there and, figure out a way to um, do something to humans because he knows that God has a special spot in his heart for humans and so for man and so he so the devil decides to go there and I think if you know anything about Christianity and um, the uh, and Judaism because that's I mean really we're the story comes from. Um, if you know anything about them, then you know the story of 
Adam and Eve not being able to eat of the tree of knowledge or being told that they cannot eat of the tree of knowledge and then the devil disguises himself as a snake and he comes and he tells Eve to eat the apple and she does and then she gives it to Adam and he eats it as well and it I actually enjoyed that part of it probably the most uh there is some parts of it where Adam is talking to I think it's the archangel Michael and Michael's telling him the story of how the devil, how Satan fell and the, the wars that went on between hell and heaven uh, before, before man was made. And that was, that's really interesting. And then the actual kind of the devil trying to, Satan trying to figure out how he's going to seduce Eve into eating this fruit that she's not supposed to eat. And it's pretty easy. Uh, it ends up being pretty easy and she just does it. She's like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. And actually the, the, the change of Adam and Eve's relationship to each other was actually the thing that I found the most interesting. So at first Adam eats it because he's like, well, she's fallen and I don't want to live here without her. So I'm going to eat of it. So I guess I'll eat of it too, because I love her so much. So he does. And then that that love kind of turns into, um, uh, what's the word? It, not disdain, but he, he, he's just angry. He just is angry at her for, for doing this to, to them together. And then the angel comes back down and is basically like, you know, basically tells them, yeah, you, you can't be, you can't live here anymore. Because at first they're like, well, you know, we know we're going to die and we know that there's good and bad and the difference between them, but at least we still have Eden and we'll, we can stay here. And the, the angel comes down and is like, yeah, no, you, you can't, you can't stay here. So they're very upset by that, understandably, but also they know they did wrong. So they're kind of okay with it. And the angel shows them kind of what's going to happen in the future, like how their lineage is going to play out a little bit. And Adam sees the good and the bad in this. He shows it to Adam only, Eve is asleep. And, you know, he shows them the good and the bad of, of, of man and how he, you know, humans go forth into the world, how their lineage kind of, um, continues itself and, and he sees that okay there's a lot of bad but there's also good and maybe it's not gonna be you know it's gonna be hard but also we deserve it because we did what we weren't supposed to do the one thing the one thing that we weren't supposed to do we did it um even though we were tricked into it and uh and that's kind of how the, the first book ends and the second book is much much shorter uh so the first book yeah is basically all of this and then paradise regained is basically is that so obviously quite a difference in length here and i don't know why these books these two look so similar i mean obviously one's a little one's quite a little longer than the other but it doesn't seem like the same as as in this little version of it so there must be a lot of extra stuff in the paradise regained a copy of this. So anyway, Paradise Regained is that period in Jesus's life where he goes out into the desert and he um, he starves himself and he's tempted by the devil, by by Satan. And Satan comes to him and he tempts him with all the you know, so I can make you a king, I can give you this, I can give you that. And actually, it's kind of funny. It's interesting in in this that before the, before Satan goes to Jesus, he says. He's talking with one of his, you know, minions in hell. And they're discussing, like, how to tempt Jesus. And the minion's like, and the minion is the uh, succubus. And he says, well, there's lots of pretty ladies up there. Bring him some pretty ladies. And the devil's like, yeah, that's not going to work. So, <clears throat> so he doesn't even try that. He doesn't even try the pretty ladies. Uh, he just goes to him and offers him kingdoms and offers him... Um, everlasting, every, you know, just offers him just the world, essentially. 
And Jesus is like, it, first he offers him food, like have some food because Jesus has been starving for 40 days and he says no. And then the devil's like, and then Satan's like, well, you can have this kingdom and, and Jesus is like, nah. And the devil's like, or Satan goes, well, well, what about like basically everything? All you got to do is worship me instead of God. And, and Jesus is like, no, <laughs> he just said, he, you know. Obviously, it's a lot more written out, but, uh, and I actually, I think I enjoyed Paradise Regained a little bit better. I thought I might not, um, but I, I don't know. It's certainly a lot shorter, but it's a, it's a conversation between Jesus and Satan, and I find the conversations to be easier to understand, um, in this so like the conversations between like adam and the archangel and adam and eve were easier to understand than just the descriptions of things <clears throat> so uh so i mean overall i enjoyed it but unless you're into i don't know that i'd read it again and unless you're into like epic poetry probably not something you're going to be into um but if you like that stuff I mean, it's one of the, I mean, it's one of the all-time classics, right? So I'm glad I read it, and I, like I said, probably won't read it again. I'm glad I read it, mostly because I had these, these versions of it, and these are so cool because they're, you can, um, they're from, they're from London, they're from England. And it actually says, this is printed by John Bakersville for J and R Tunson in London. So obviously back in like the 1700s, there weren't like big publishing houses and stuff. So this was printed, this was actually, it seems like it was a uh, asked for asked to be printed so they they someone some a family or some guy asked someone to print it for them you can see the gold on the uh on the outside of the pages like i said obviously i couldn't couldn't read these ones because they're falling apart and i'm sad that they're falling apart but there's not really a whole lot i can do about it um but that's kind of, I, I haven't even looked through them because they're so, they're so old and they're so uh, fragile that I have not even opened them up fully because I'm afraid that they just like into dust. So they just, they sit on a shelf, but they're cool. I have quite a few old books like this that I got from my parents or other people. And, uh, I'm kind of, I just, I just love books. So anyway, I just wanted to share these because I thought they were really cool and share that I read the actual, I did read it, even though, you know, even if I didn't read this copy of them and, uh, and, and, you know, enjoyed it for the most part, but I think because of the text, I, it was, uh, I probably didn't get the nuance, the nuance of the, the nuance and the beauty of it. If I knew more about, if I knew more about this type of writing and, and read it more and had studied it more, then I probably would have under, then I probably would have, would have gotten the beauty of it more, which I don't, which probably escaped me. Um, but it was a good story. And I enjoyed that part of it, the parts that I that I understood. Like I said, I got the gist of it. But anyway, so that's that. If you like epic poems written from the written in the mid 1600s, check out Paradise Lost and Paradise Regained. And uh, that's that for today. It's kind of a long one, kind of a long book review. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit subscribe, um, share it, and. Uh, Tell me if I got something wrong, if I, you know, misinterpreted something in here, if you know anything about it, because I, 
didn't know what I was going into. I mean, I knew that it was the story of Adam and Eve getting kicked out of Eden, but that's all I knew about it. And I didn't know anything about Paradise Regained. I, didn't, I had no idea what that was about. So, uh, yeah, let me know if I got anything wrong. And, uh, or if I did an okay <laughs> job of interpreting it. My next, the next book is gonna be completely different. Absolutely 100% completely different. Um, it should be a fun read. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, share it, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow with a fitness related video. Bye.